Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic week. In today's video we are talking about coconut oil for birds. Now this is, it's kind of a newer concept but there are some sort of instances of people using it a while ago but I wanted to talk about it today because I've been trying it with my birds and I think it's great. I think it has a lot of great health potential benefits and um, yeah I thought I'd just share my thoughts with you, my research with you, uh, what's good about it, what type you should use and all those kinds of things. So I thought we'd get straight into it. Of course coconut oil does come from coconuts and you may have seen in some sort of commercial seed mixes you get like coconut flakes, coconut shreds, all that kind of thing. And quite often most birds will enjoy coconut and coconut oil to a lot of birds tastes really great as well so you don't have to worry about them being a little bit sort of cautious about taste although I will say of course with chip and fish they're very cautious about new things so they're not as keen on this but the conyers all absolutely love it personally I'm with chip and fish I really hate the taste of coconut but um, it's for their health benefits so I'm willing to make that sacrifice for my birds now when you're offering coconut oil to your birds you need to make sure that you get a really high quality one so you know it's going to be safe for your birds there's no kind of hidden nasties or preservatives or anything in there it just needs to be a really high quality coconut oil this is the one i have it's from buy whole foods online you guys know i actually love them this isn't sponsored or anything i just know this one is safe and this is the one that i get for my birds and any coconut oil that you get for your birds does need to be organic, extra virgin, and raw and cold pressed. Anything other than that has potentially been processed multiple times and you don't want that. You want the most like natural, raw, unprocessed version. Of course, anything organic is always the best choice for birds. And um, yeah, this is one I've been using. I know it's safe. And I'll have a link in the description if you want to get your hands on this one as well. What do you think, Pickles? Hi! In terms of the nutrition side of things, it's not wildly packed with nutrients, but it is a pretty good all-rounder. It is a source of vitamin E, which is great for healthy skin for your birds. And it also has lauric acid, which is a really brilliant antimicrobial. So it's antiviral, antifungal, uh, antibacterial, so that's always a good thing to have as part of your bird's diet. Now, there's a couple of things I wanted to point out before I get into more about the details on coconut oil. The first point is when I'm talking about offering coconut oil to your birds, I do mean feeding it to them. I don't mean slathering it over their feet and beak. I did mention this in my how to take care of your birds beak and feet videos, but I see a lot of people do it online and it's really not good. So I wanted to talk about the first point. Don't pop it on your bird's beak because they shouldn't need it. If your bird has a real issue with their beak, then you see a vet because rubbing it with coconut oil isn't going to solve it. However, saying that, some beaks will look a bit peely and that is normal because beaks are made of keratin and there's layers of it and that's just the way it grows. So you need to work out what a healthy beak looks like and what an unhealthy beak looks like. So make sure you go and check out that video down in the description or I'll leave a card here now as well for it. Now also when people are spreading it on their bird's feet there is a risk that oil is going to get all over their feathers and actually ruin the feathers and once they're kind of covered in oil it's very difficult to get it off. Um, again I see people saying oh my bird's feet look cracked and dry and they should not. A healthy bird's feet will not be cracked and dry. So do work out why your bird's feet might look like that. For powdery down birds like cockatiels, African greys and cockatoos actually it's just that powdery down falling into the creases within the bird's feet that make them look dry but they're not. Whereas for other birds there could be a problem with humidity levels, dietary things, all that kind of stuff. So again go and check out the feet video of this one as well to work out whether your bird's feet are healthy or not and whether you should seek uh, advice from an avian veterinarian. So coconut oil is actually a source of saturated fats, which if you've heard anything in the news about saturated fats, typically they are described as bad fats. However, when we're talking about coconut oil, it's actually one of the good types of saturated fat, very few of them, and that's because it contains medium chain fatty acids. These are essential for your bird to be nice and happy and healthy, but they're kind of hard to find in certain foods. So if you can offer it via coconut oil, at least you'll know that you're going to be providing that part of uh, what your bird may be lacking in its diet. Now there is an awesome video by Dr. Karen Becker, who is one of the most highly respected avian vets out there. She's amazing. And she talks about uh, the importance of coconut oil. This video is actually from a really long time ago, uh, but I'll leave it down in the description again, if you want to go and have a look. And she explains some of the signs that she saw when she started implementing coconut oil as part of a holistic approach to animal care uh, to lots of different birds and what she saw and the results so i'll leave that down there go and check it out it's very interesting so next we're going to talk about some of the reported health benefits of coconut oil for birds 
and then we're going to talk about how to offer it to your birds as well. So the first reported health benefit is it actually improves heart health, which is always a very good thing in conjunction with obviously a good diet and plenty of exercise for your bird. It also aids in digestion as well by destroying bad bacteria in the gut and actually encouraging good bacteria to grow. So again, something that's really beneficial and something that can cause a lot of problems in birds if it's not uh, balanced in the digestion properly. So that's really important and I think that's a really great benefit for it. There are also reports that a prolonged use of coconut oil in your bird's diet can actually improve plumage colour. Uh, again, this would have to be seen over several molts because you, once your bird's feathers have grown in, they can't change, that's it, the blood supply is cut off. But that's one of the things that Dr. Karen Becker pointed out in her sort of experience of using coconut oil, that it actually really enhances and improves plumage colour. And as well as this, it can also improve behaviour. So that is always a bonus because sometimes when birds are lacking in certain vitamins, minerals, nutrients, fatty acids, whatever it may be, uh, sometimes that can have an impact in behaviour. So if we can kind of get the diet as best as possible, then at least we can rule that out as a cause for undesirable behaviour. Now again, I say this with any of my kind of supplementary videos like apple cider vinegar, when used in conjunction with, you know, a great home setup and great diet and that kind of thing, actually coconut oil is reported to help with hormonal parrots. Uh, this again is due to what it contains and it just helps to support their behaviour and helps to fill in those gaps and manage those hormones. So if you found that you've tried just about everything with your birds and you're still struggling, maybe consider introducing coconut oil into your bird's diet during the real busy hormone season and see if that helps to kind of settle things. And as I've said, one of the other benefits for your birds, just as a bit of fun, is it tastes really nice for them, so that's always a good thing. So now we have talked about why it's good, let's talk about how to offer it to your birds. Because obviously we don't want to give too much, and if we give too little then there's no point in even feeding it. So the recommended dosage, if you like, is about an eighth of a teaspoon per 400 grams of body weight. Now with my birds here, the conyers, they're about 64 grams, the cockatiels are just about 100 grams. So that means it's quite a tiny amount, it's about a few beakfuls. So what I do is, I'm gonna show you in a second with a clip of olive, is I'm gonna place some on a teaspoon, uh, just a small amount, and I'm gonna let them kind of self uh, dose if you like. It's okay for them to have a little bit more, they can have a few bites more, but you don't want to be giving them great big, you know, bowls full of it and coating everything in it because that's not great for them. So it's better to offer it to your bird and see if they want to take some. Of course, if you're offering it for the first time with your bird, they may be a bit cautious uh, and you may want to encourage them, maybe sprinkle a few seeds over to try and encourage them to chew it. But if they're not interested, it's quite possible they feel like their body doesn't need it. Uh, an example of this, again, anecdotal of course, but with my three conies. All of them absolutely love coconut oil. When they're really in the mood for it, <laughs> they probably would eat a whole teaspoon, which obviously isn't good for them, but they really, really like it. And when I was filming the clip of Olive the other day, having some off the teaspoon, these two, Scampi and Pickles, refused to have any. Pickles kind of gave it a lick and was like, mm, don't, don't really fancy it right now, whereas Olive chowed it down. Other days, Olive will be like, I don't really want this today, and these two will chow it down. So I wouldn't recommend mixing it all in with your chop. And as well as that, you don't want to be mixing so much in that, you know, it's going to make the chop go weird. Again, if some birds are funny about taste, they may not want to eat the rest of the chop and if you're only using a small amount it's not really going to be spread very evenly so I recommend not using it in the chop but just offering it on a teaspoon to your bird. Again if your birds are nervous about teaspoons you can maybe put it on the end of your finger you could place a little bit in their bowl for example with chip and fish because they're a little bit nervous about spoons for some reason um, I actually just put a little dollop into their bowl aside from their food and then they can decide if they want to go and have some or not which they do they they you know if they want some they'll go and have a little lick and if they don't then they leave it and that's absolutely fine but I don't think that offering it like really in their face and like you have to have it is necessarily the best option although saying that for example if you wanted to maybe make some birdie bread for your birds things like i've made on my channel before the harrison's mix tops do one as well sometimes you have to use oil in the mix in order to make it work and you could use coconut oil there because it's obviously seen as a treat you don't want them to be eating birdie bread every day so if you used coconut oil in place of whatever oil you would normally use to make bird bread that would be absolutely fine but in terms of mixing it all up into their kind of daily food and chop don't think it's necessarily the best option because then it doesn't give them the choice of whether they want it or not and you only find that your birds don't actually want to eat the chop some of course will and that's fine but I think in terms of introducing this as a component to your birds diet just offer it on a teaspoon and see what they think 
So I hope you found this video interesting, learning a little bit more about coconut oil. There's always so much more to learn with birds and this is one of the things I found out recently and I'm really enjoying giving it to my birds. I'm always learning more as well, so um, I'll always keep you guys updated if I find something that's really awesome that I haven't tried before, all that kind of stuff. And as usual, there'll be plenty of links in the description with lots of resources if you want to learn more. You know, we love a link in the description. So do go and check those out after this video. Let me know if you try coconut oil with your birds and let me know what they think. Do they like it? Do they not like it? Are they a bit nervous? Have you got to try and offer it in a different way to get them interested? No idea what these two are doing. Pickles is just chatting in my ears. <laughs> it's very distracting. So I think we'll leave this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing week. Hope you and your birds are well. Or if you don't have birds and you just like watching my video, thank you for tuning in. But yes, yeah, from me and Scampi and Pickles, thank you so much for watching. Take care and see you later.